For a country which likes to keep itself to itself, there should be quite a lot to celebrate in this vote in Algeria. For a start, it's 50 years exactly since the National Liberation Front, or FLN, succeeded in getting independence from the French. It's been in power ever since. This election is also significant because of recent history. Algeria was the least affected of all North African countries by the Arab Spring. But even the ruling FLN accepts there's a wind of change in the air that can't be ignored. We are certain that the FLN will win a majority in this election. But just like we accepted multi-party politics in 1989, we will accept whatever comes out of the ballot boxes. The FLN's opponents would say that that sounds nice, but is effectively a lie, since the ruling party has a history of denying political space to its opponents, especially the less secular or overtly religious parties. And they are now presenting themselves as the faces of the future. The people have come to realize that change will not come from the old. It will not come from corruption. It will not be achieved by losers. It will not be achieved by government parties. Yet there's a problem with that too. Many say they've got so used to politicians letting them down that it seems they don't trust any of them. Low turnout is widely predicted. People lost trust in the system. Do you understand? There is no one anymore. The ones before didn't do anything and the new ones won't do anything either. Everyone is after their own interests. So there's a great contradiction about Algeria. Across North Africa, people have become genuinely politicized. Yet here, in Algeria's most open election ever, the government's been forced to send out text messages by phone to encourage people to vote. Compared to its neighbors, Algeria, it seems, is the odd man out. Zain Basravi, Al Jazeera. So let's talk to Zinedine Tebao from the Movement for the Society of Peace, joining us live from the capital, Algiers, uh, via Skype. Give me your um, opinion on why you think there is apathy. Why are people not interested in this election? Thank you very much. Well, uh, as you know, there was uh, many elections before uh, this one. The first one, was, the first multi-party election in Algeria was in '97, and people tend to not trust uh, uh, that these elections will be without fraud and will be transparent. So there is uh, a sentiment here that uh, you know uh, where you put your voice won't go to you, you, the person you choose. Also, uh, you know, with the problems, the economy problems, the you know, the 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 living of the people, the difficulties that people are living, all of that, you know, make this sentiment that people, you know, are not willing to go. Having saying, said that, uh, we think that the the election is the only way to change in Algeria because but, as but you there's know, a massive live... there's a massive contradiction there isn't there I mean if, if you think the election is the only way to change things in Algeria but people aren't going to register their vote because they think it's not going to make any difference where, where do you go you you know in Algeria we lived in the 90s a very difficult uh, period of violence and now uh, the president has initiated a reform, uh, you know, reform uh, through, uh, through new uh, laws, especially uh, giving some guarantees to the new election. So we as a parties uh, in the uh, uh, Green Alliance, uh, you know, is, is Islamist coalition, we are waiting to see these reforms today in the election. If the election, there's no fraud, if it's, uh, you know, clean election, we will go through. But if, you know, if the, the, the government and the, the administration, uh, and if there is a fraud, you know, they will face, uh, you know, they will face the people. But as I said before, people in Algeria, parties in Algeria don't want to go back to the 90s. Understandably, understandably so. Uh, Mr. Tebal, thank you very much indeed talking to us from Algiers. You're welcome. Thank you very much.